Hey everybody, this is Paul again. Uh, welcome to part two in, I don't even know what I'm going to call this series yet, but uh, I don't know, part two of uh, searching for a item in a linked list recursively, maybe? Maybe I'll call it that, I don't know, but that's what we're doing. So anyway, uh, so we just got done building our linked list in part one. So now I'm going to show you how to build the recursive function that's going to search for a value inside of this list. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put a function prototype here. And so our function prototype is basically just going to, it's gonna, not going to have a return type. So we're just going to type in void. And let's see, we might as well call it, uh, let's do search and recursive. I think that's how you spell it. So search recursive is going to be the name of our function. And let's see, we need to pass in a node pointer. So we'll just call that pointer PTR. So PTR stands for pointer. So we're passing in a node pointer into this function. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to pass in some value that we're looking for. So we'll name that, uh, I don't know, search value. So we're going to pass two arguments into this function. We're going to pass in some sort of node pointer. We're actually going to pass in the head pointer. And uh, then we're going to pass in whatever value is that we want to search for. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's see, copy and paste this right here so I can just kind of use it down below where I define it. So I'm just going to do control C, copy it, and then moving down here. So now I'm below the main function here. I'm going to define it below the main function here. So, whoops, control V, paste it, okay. So get rid of that semicolon and then do an opening and closing curly base. And inside here, we'll go ahead and define what we want this function to do. So basically, we're gonna pass in the head pointer. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna check to see if the head pointer is pointing to anything. If basically, we're gonna see if there's anything in the list or well, the way we've built the list, there's we know there's something in the list, but Basically, every time we go through this recursive function, we want to check to make sure that the pointer that we're passing through is not at the end of the list. So basically, we're going to check to see if our pointer is equal to null. So basically, this is only going to happen when our, uh, when our function passes through the entire list and didn't find anything. And you'll see why in a second. So this is what's going to happen if we went through the whole list and we couldn't find the value. So we're just going to print out that uh, search value and that's going to be whatever we entered into the function here. That's a variable. So search value space was not found in the list. Okay, so that's what's going to say if it passes through the entire list and doesn't find the value we're looking for. So if that's not the case, then we're still in the list. So we're still somewhere in the list and we're gonna check to see if basically whatever we're pointing to, if it contains the data that we're looking for. So if we haven't passed through the list, we're still pointing to some node and we wanna check to see if the search value, the value that we're searching for is in that node. So we can just type in else if pointer arrow data equals equals search value. So it's going to check to see if the uh, current node that's being pointed to holds the data we're looking for. So if it does, we're going to say, we're going to do a C out statement again and say search value, whatever we are searching for, uh, was or say is in the list. How about that? That's simple enough. So let's go ahead and do the next case. So basically if this isn't true, it's going to check this case. And if this case isn't true, we're going to have another condition. So then we're going to say, okay, if neither one of those cases are true, then uh, let's go ahead and just do another case. And uh, we'll say, if that's not true, we want to basically do the recursive part right here. Search recursive. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pass in the next uh, 
we're gonna make uh, we're basically gonna make our pointer point to the next node right here. So we're gonna do PTR arrow next. So it's basically now uh, we're passing by doing this. We're basically passing in a pointer that's pointing to the next item in the list. And then we once again just pass in search value, and that's it. So basically, let's go through this uh, really quick here. So basically what we're going to do is if we have basically passed through the entire list, then our pointer is going to be pointing to nothing. It's going to be pointing to null. And so then we're going to say basically whatever value we we're looking for was not found in the list. So if that's not the case, if we're not all the way at the end of the list, that means we're still somewhere in the list. And then we check does the data inside of the node that we're pointing to equal the value we're looking for? And if it does, we say uh, whatever value we're looking for is in the list. And if that's the case, then it skips this last step right here because it's already been satisfied. Because this else means, well, if the if didn't execute. So if this executes right here, if it finds it, then that's it, it's done. It exits this function. So if we're not at the end of the list and the value that we're looking for isn't in the current node, then we're basically just going to call the function again. We're going to call this recursive function again by passing in the next point, the uh, pointer to the next node in the list and uh, with the same search value. So that's basically it. That's the uh, search recursive function right there. This right here is the uh, recursive part. We're calling the function itself inside of itself. And uh, the only thing we do is we just update uh, our pointer value right here. So let's go ahead and just uh, test this and make sure this works. So let's say, let's just do a few, uh, few statements. Let's, let's see, right here is where I printed out in the previous video. This is this while loop is where I printed out uh, the list. So let's just do, let's do a new line here. And actually we'll just do a couple. We'll just do it this way. So we're printing out a couple new lines there. And then we just are gonna do uh, search recursive. And then we'll do, uh, I don't know. Let's do, well, we wanna pass in the head pointer. And then we're gonna search for the number four. So four is in the list. And then we'll try something that's not in the list. So search uh, recursive, and we want to pass in the head pointer. And let's see, uh, 11 is not in the list, so we'll try that one. So let's uh, build and run those really quick and make sure that uh, our search recursive function works. So let's see what happens here. So there we go. So it prints out the list because uh, I told it to do that in uh, part one. I uh, did. I left that code in there. That's this code right here. And uh, then these next two lines are these search recursive functions. So the first one says four is in the list, and the second one says eleven was not found in the list. So you can basically enter. You always want to pass the head pointer in because this is where it's going to start searching the list. And then you can pass any number you want into here that's an integer, and it will tell you whether or not uh, that integer is in the list. So anyway, that was kind of an introduction on uh, how and when you might want to use uh, a recursive function. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, these videos in the comments. Thank you guys all for watching, and have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.